So, um, because I said that plotting graphs was probably going to be the hardest thing to you to understand today, um, I've decided to not only go through the lesson, but go through the homework as well, so you can um, see how you should answer it, and then when you have a go at it yourself, it'll come through with uh, a different set of graphs, different set of numbers, so you'll be using the same skills that I'm using here, but it's not just copy my answers. Okay, so... No calculator for this, and you might need pen and paper to do some workings, but um, uh, a lot of it should be just understanding. So, complete the table of values for this equation, y equals x plus 2, using the values that lie in the graph show. Okay, so you might just read that, it might just not make much sense to you, so let's break it down and see what we're going to do. So this is your table of values, this is the graph, okay, so we've got to fill in these numbers, and then we're going to drag these points to the right place. And what it says is to get y, whatever x is, you add 2. y is going to be 2 more than x. So then the first one for you, 0, add 2 gets you 2. So 1, add 2 gets you 3. The next one's going to be 2, add 4. And the next one's going to be 3, add 2 gets you 5. So we've got our coordinates there. So 0, 2. 0 across and 2 up is going to be 0 across and 2 up there. And then 1, 3 is going to be 1 across and 3 up. 2, 4 is going to be 2 across and 4 up. And 3, 5 is going to be 3 across and 5 up. Okay, so let's check that. Great, all right. Okay. We've got a little trophy. So, next one. Which of these coordinates are in a line? So what we're looking for here is we are either going to be looking for something which is the same in every single one, or to get between them is the same each time. So, add, there's nothing the same in these, so if we have a look, add 2, add 6, no, it doesn't work. This one nothing the same. So this one I'd be taking away 3 to go from 2 to minus 1. Take away 3, take away 3, take away. Yes, that works. That's consistent with all of them. Right, this one, there's nothing the same, but we add 2, add 2, add 2, add 2. Yep, yeah, that works for all of them. And these ones, the 1 is in the x coordinate for all of them, so that one is true as well. It's just the top one that's not. So, Write the rules for these coordinates. Y is so many more than X. Well, it's two more there. Let's just check. Yes, two more, two more, two more. So, two more. And then this one. Um, so, minus two down to minus five. Well, you've got to take away three. Take away three, take away three, take away three. So, it's going to be three less than X. Write out the equation that describes these rules. So y coordinate is always 10 more than the x coordinate. So you take the x coordinate and you're going to add 10. Y is always 5 less than the x coordinate. So you take the x coordinate and you subtract 5. That's all you've got to do. Okay? It's not that difficult if you went through the lesson, listened to the sort of video lesson I made, and actually have a go at it yourself. Okay, so this isn't that difficult, even though it might be brand new. Okay.